Hi, my name is Anna Paula Mumi, and today I'd like to review with you GROW Language Development with Engaging Children's Stories. The GROW series comes with 12 storybooks and an accompanying manual. And there's an English version and also a bilingual uh, English-Spanish version. But today I'll be demonstrating the English version. The storybook series is unique in that it is leveled. And as you'll see here, there are four different levels that can be presented to the child depending on their age and language level. The reason that I did this is because when I first started working with language, I really loved using storybooks. And I feel like storybooks are so versatile in that I can target a lot of different skills such as sequencing, I can target story grammar and WH questions or lis uh, listening comprehension. Uh, but what I found myself doing was going to the library and picking out a book and then realizing right in the middle of therapy that it was either too hard or maybe it was too short and simple and it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I began writing stories that were leveled so that I could adjust the level up or down depending on that child's needs and it be just right for them. So a child might be just ready for level one, for example, where key nouns and verbs are addressed. So it could be as simple as, look at the sun. The girl wears sunglasses. Feel the wind. Or they might be ready for level four where there is more detail and more complex vocabulary as well as a grammatical structure. So it could be, it is sunny today. The sun is hot and bright. It makes me feel happy and eager to play outside under the clear blue sky. Today, I'll wear my pink polka dotted t-shirt, brown shorts and leather sandals. I'll also wear sunglasses and a hat to protect my face from the sun rays. What I also did with the storybooks was try to present the different vocabulary and language targets in association with one another, as opposed to as isolated targets. So for example, in this story, obviously the main um, target is weather, but I'm also presenting clothing and colors as well as other clothing descriptors and also feelings uh, based on each weather type. And so we're able to really target multiple things all at once with one story. Another example of how the um, targets are linked is in Things All Around where I'm primarily um, dealing with opposites. I'm presenting opposites, but I pr uh, introduce them in relation to the five senses. So things that we hear, see, taste, touch, smell. And then I'm also introducing body parts that are associated with each of the senses. The manual um, details all of the different vocabulary and language targets for each of the stories. And it also presents different extension activities that you can do um, with each of the stories. So for example, with buying groceries, the primary target is going to be food. Um, so let's say you're working with a low functioning child with autism and you're wanting to address food, um, you might do an extension activity where the child has to sort out and identify um, food versus clothing items. So you might have two buckets, one labeled food, one labeled um, clothing, and they have to then sort those out either using uh, cards with images or maybe actual objects. You can also um, utilize songs with the storybooks. Um, you can actually be the one presenting the story, or it might be that the child is ready to read some of the stories, but either way, they are just very versatile. If you'd uh, like more ideas on how to utilize storybooks in therapy, you can check out my e-course that is entitled Language Intervention Utilizing Level Storybooks. And for more product information or ordering information, please visit northernspeech.com. Thank you.